In this video, we'll look at the protons and electrons for SN2 plus and SN4 plus, and for neutral SN. So this is tin2, tin4, then we have neutral tin right here. When we look at the periodic table, we see the atomic number is 50 for tin for SN. That atomic number then, 50, is going to be the same for tin and for its ions. So if we have SN, doesn't matter the charge, atomic number is going to be 50. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So for SN, 50 is the atomic number, 50 protons. And again, for the ions, that'll be 50 as well. So when we have an atom and its ions, the only thing that's going to be different, that's the number of electrons. And the number of electrons in a neutral element is going to equal the number of protons. So a neutral element doesn't have a negative or a positive after it. So just SN, that's a neutral element. So if we have 50 protons, we'll have 50 electrons, which makes sense. We have the same number of positive and negative charges. They balance out, give us a neutral atom here. To find the number of electrons for SN2+, plus, this 2 plus right here, this means we've lost two negative charges. We've lost two electrons. Since we've lost two electrons, 50 minus 2, that's 48. And then for 10, 4 plus, we would have 46 electrons. So that's how you find the number of protons and electrons for the tin 2 ion, the tin 4 ion, and for neutral tin. If you need help finding the number of neutrons in the different isotopes of tin, there's a link in the description to a video that'll help you do that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.